Well, we're finally getting the Milo cut. We'll see what it end up ends up doing. Uh, definitely not going to be a bumper crop, but hopefully there's something to at least write home about. today. Uh, definitely not a bumper crop by no means, but luckily didn't have a lot in it. Uh, but at the same time, the 10 tons of manure per acre that I put on the spring doesn't seem to have made that big a difference because that's about what I made off of last year's Milo. Excuse me. As far as, because I'm guessing it's right around 20 bushels an acre is what we ended up averaging on that. So, like I said, nothing to write home about, but I didn't have much in it. So, well, you know, it is what it is. But out here drilling rye on the feedlot, on the, our pivot, um, it's not mine, so I'm getting, actually getting paid to do this. But, uh, an observation that I've made, or that I'm coming to, or a conclusion, however you want to put it, is that, um, so I've been doing this whole cover cropping for forages, or forage cropping, whatever you want to call it. I've been doing it and grazing it for mm, three or four, four years now. Something like that. Anyways, and we can get good summer covers. The problem that I am seeing as of late, following the summer covers, is getting the winter sun, winter cover established and getting any actual growth on it in the fall. It's just not happening. And I know that the summer covers are the best way to improve the soil, uh, increase carbon, and it gives you the most tonnage per acre, but, uh, bar none. Uh, the sheep really do well on it, but I'm starting to think that, I don't know, almost graze out, so for an example, so graze out the rye in late spring, summer, whatever, and go with just a simple, really simple mix and not even spray any weeds and just let grow, grow. Maybe drill something like some legumes or something straight into what is ever there. Or maybe, I'm also thinking maybe drill something like cowpeas or soybeans into the rye uh, while it's still really vegetative. Kind of like what they're doing with the uh, relay cropping. But not nothing fancy, just go straight in with, like I said, soybeans or something like that. Or maybe some turnips, radish. I don't know. Still kind of messing with things, going through things in my head. And, you know, I can grow crabgrass, I can grow crabgrass all day long, but do that, then obviously I'm going to have to have some place to go with them, but then go in and like end of July, 1st of August, something like that, spray out what's there and go in with something like a diverse blend, maybe with a little bit of warm season stuff in it, you know, otherwise, like spring oaks, uh, tree decay Rye, whatever I'm gonna do, so we get some fall growth on stuff. Because uh, basically, outside of underneath the pivots, and this year as late as it's gonna be, I don't know how much growth we're gonna have underneath the pivots. Uh, just not getting the growth. Uh, the stuff that I planted early, there, let's see, beginning of October, I think. Yeah, it's germinated. Most of it is germinated, but there's not enough there to graze. Now we are supposed to get a rain Friday, so we will see how much rain we get out of that, but I mean, still it's not going to be anything that 
it's not like I'm going to get 12 inches of growth out of it at this point. I mean, I, if we do, awesome. I, if we keep enough growing uh, heat units to grow some, okay. But I don't know. I'm just trying to get the right, keep the sun out of the way. Things just aren't. Um, just not able to do what I want to do as far as getting the terminate the summer cover, getting another winter cover in, getting any growth on it so that I can actually graze it. And so instead of just beating against the wall, wasting money, not getting the growth, I mean, well, we get growth eventually, but even come spring, because you don't get the best establishment in the fall because you're dry, and so you don't have what you should have in springtime either on a winter planted cover. So, that's my thoughts. Um, just my opinion, but it's just something, just something I'm playing around with in my head, trying to figure out how to make this work, how to not spend any more money than I absolutely have to to make it work. Because, you know, we we have sheep. Uh, street prices were down this year. I've made a lot of video, deleted a lot of video. Because just going through things in my head and not happy with stuff, but I think I'll go ahead and we'll, we'll get this one posted up, hopefully. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this here and see where else this video goes. So, well, the sun going down sure makes it a little less hard to see at the moment. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna get a little more difficult to see as the sun continues to go down and we lose twilight. But let me get the camera flipped around. So one thing about it, this is the first time I ever drilled into bean stubble. The tilth of the soil right now, um, partly because we got ourselves some rain, not a lot of rain, just a few showers. But the drill is going through this stuff like butter. It ain't nothing at all for the drill to go through this stuff right now. Stuff is running smooth. Um, as far as like the tractor's not pulling hard, the tractor's running good. Um, yeah, it just, some days it just, in certain conditions, stuff just runs way slicker than other times. Well, we're gonna call her tonight. About 15 acres left out here. So we're gonna head up and go home, run by the parents and check on the sheep that are there and then go home and get some supper. Well, we finally got ourselves some rain. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much. I'm guessing at least half an inch, if not closer to an inch, judging by what was in the dog bowl. Came out, got sheep moved, did a new paddock, got another paddock set up. It's pretty cold out, especially without wind blowing. Wouldn't be quite so bad if we didn't have the wind, but I'm gonna go home, get some lunch, and then go out and get some uh, used loaded and head to the sail barn with them. All right, got the used loaded, I don't want it loaded. Uh, it took a little more convincing than I hoped it would, but we're gonna get in there. We're gonna put scrapey tags in the one that needs than the ones that need them, and we'll get on down the road. Got scrapey tags and everybody. Eh, she got two. That's fine. I'm not going to take it out. Can't save it anyway. So. That's always the worst part about selling stuff is getting a scrapey tag put in them. But I hate to do it before we sell them because they get ripped out, and then you're just wasting your money. So we'll get loaded up and get on down the road. All right, we're just getting here. Looks like it's going to be a decent sale. There's a trailer ahead of me, a trailer behind me. And it looked like they had quite a bit of rain here. Well, don't look like we're going to have to wait in line too much. All right. And that is that. Doesn't take much. So hopefully they sell good tomorrow. Um, I mean, 
they already got decent numbers here and more people coming in so that is always a good thing or hopefully it's a good thing hopefully they get the buyers here and they have a good sale tomorrow um, prices have been a little down in the last month or so but hopefully they're kind of creeping back up there and we'll see what we get um, i consider them coal all the use that i just dropped off coals and our program but i'm sure there's someone who would buy some of them I mean, some of them they're just not the best condition uh to say wormy they just can't keep their condition anymore so that's why they're here so i think we will head on home get the chute loaded back up hopefully get the trailer dropped off and we'll be done with the trailer for a little bit longer until we go to move views again which is going to be sooner rather than later i imagine so we'll see what happens Too long a day. Trust me, that was as painful for me as it was for you. So, I think I'm gonna end this video here. Um, we'll probably get another video up here before too long because we actually got some moisture. So hopefully stuff starts growing. We can actually get a shovel in the ground now so we can actually go look at some of the fields, see how they're doing. It might be a while. It might take a week or so to get to all the fields to uh, look at the different soil structures that we got going on see what the cover crops that we've planted are doing so yeah i know it, this is kind of been a little bit rough um, but i'm just happy we finally got some rain we've needed some rain i know guys out west of us are still needing rain when i looked at radar earlier we were basically on the western edge of it so thank you thank you thank you lord because we could have easily missed this like we have a lot of the storms here lately so with that guys thanks for watching hit the subscribe button as always leave a question or leave a comment follow us here on youtube follow us on facebook at double o grazing company thanks guys